Recently I made the Discord bot and I had to change from Python to Java. If you want to make your own bot and you are thinking which language to choose, then you have come to the right video. Let's find out together with the comparison between Python and Java. By the way, if you are curious about seeing the experience that I'm describing, then you can check this link popping up right now. Let's begin with the Discord API. This means the interaction interface between our application and Discord servers. And there are a lot of them, and it might seem overwhelming, but we'll focus only on Python and Java ones. Note that all of these implementations are community-based. For Java, for example, there are four of them, and for Python, there are two. Common question here is, what implementation should I pick for my bot? Of course, you can go with the first one, but I would recommend to go into the repositories and see when was the last updated, because that's really important to make sure that you have the latest Discord features available for your bot in case you need them. They provide the same thing, but they might do it differently. That is the main difference between all of these APIs. The SDKs I tried so far are for Python Discord.py and for Java Discord 4J. By the way, if you are enjoying the content so far, don't forget to leave a like and tell me in the comments what language you prefer the most. While in both languages you can write code, of course, Java and Python differ a lot. You have tried both Java and Python, you probably have noticed that in Java you need to write a little more code to get the same result. This is because Java is verbose. That means, for example, if you want to read from a file, in Python you need two lines of code and in Java you need 10. This is a pro and a con at the same time. Why? Well, it's a con because of course, yeah, you have to write more code. But the good part out of it is the fact that if you're looking for a longer term project, Python, it might become really hard to understand what you wrote in a particular part. But with Java, since it's everything so detailed, you cannot miss out even the code that you might have forgotten. Of course, if you want to prototype fast, if you want to iterate fast between your bot versions, then Python is definitely for you in this case. But if you want to take your bot to the next level, if you want to aim for the long run, you should aim for Java. If your bot is focused on individual commands that are mostly standalone, you might aim for Python because it's much more simple and it's much more easier to implement those with. If your bot has features like a game that has interconnected elements between them, then you might look into Java because that might suit you better. To compare the performance wise, we must first note the difference between a programming language and a scripting language. Even though they might sound the same and you still write code, there's a huge difference. For example, in Java, the code is not immediately executed but runs through an intermediary step called compiling. At the compiling phase, the code is made so that the processor can understand it faster and also you can catch out mistakes before even running the code. In Python, the code does not get compiled, but it's executed at runtime. So this means that, for example, if you have some execution parts that are not getting executed in that particular program run, you might have some hidden mistakes that you cannot find easily. The main advantage with Java is the fact that being a compiled code means that it's much more faster because the processor, the CPU, already knows what to do with that code. In Python, on the other side, the code is executed at runtime, so of course it's a little more overload on the processor. Both languages offer a variety of deployment options, be it Windows, Mac OS, Linux and more, this is why they're so popular, because you can deploy them virtually everywhere. Python is very easy to deploy. You just copy paste the code from your PC to the server and it will almost work. Of course, it might have some dependencies, but luckily we have a quick solution that will resolve all the dependencies provided by Python. In Java, it's not so simple. And we have these tools called build automation tools like Maven or Gradle, they can help you a lot with the build process, but they'll take time to learn. In order to execute a Java program, you need to make this jar file containing all the information needed. The problem is it doesn't contain everything, but I found a solution to make a jar that contains all the dependencies and it's called shadow jar. So you can easily create a Java application and compile it into a jar file using shadow jar and you'll make sure that all the dependencies are included as well. But what about mass scaling? Thousands of servers benefit them. So how can they mass scale? Of course, they need to be efficient. This is one of the most important parts. And this can be achieved mostly with Java. 
because of its compiled code, which means the performance is high, but also Discord 4J and some other Java frameworks offer this reactive programming, which is a little more hard to understand than regular programming, but it does provide an efficient use of the resources that the PC that you want to deploy on has. Of course, if not, if you just deploy the server, you'll need more instances, which in turn, they cost a lot of money. So if you are looking for deploying your bot on more servers, you should consider Java. Both Java and Python are great languages. They both have pros and cons and there is no absolute winner. Of course, the winner is based on what is your need. These are my recommendations that you, if you want to prototype, if you want to deploy a bot only for your server, if you are aiming for a bot that only has independent commands, if you want to make it fast, you should go for Python. If you want to mass scale produce a bot, if you want to make a, a game bot which has different components that are interconnected and you want to make that code reliable as possible, then you should aim for Java. I'm curious to see your feedback regarding these languages and what suits you more. And of course, if you have other recommendations, I'm Adrian and I'll see you in the next one.